a very good afternoon to you and welcome to lunchtime news coming to you live and direct from the news first studios here in colombo i'm krishan devasagayam and let's start off with a look at this afternoon's headlines cop report on the central bank bond issue taken up for debate in parliament today vimavir once further remanded until the 7th of february 25 injured after bus stoppers in Kalakethra Kandy another 11 hospitalized following a collision between a van and a pickup in Vallavaya Senate approves the appointment of Rex Tillerson as the new US Secretary of State And in your lead story this afternoon the Committee on Public Enterprises or COP report on the central bank bond issue is currently being debated in parliament now as of now a number of MPs including leader of the JVP Anurag Kumar Desanayake have taken to the floor to speak on the COP report on the central bank bond issue now stay tuned to news first for the latest happening in parliament which we will be bringing to you throughout the day a detailed report on the parliamentary proceedings of today can be expected on our prime time bulletin at 9 to 9 meanwhile in another story making the headlines this afternoon former minister vimal veeravansa has been further remanded until the 7th of february after he was produced before colombo fort magistrate lanka jayaratna vimal veeravansa and another suspect are being charged with misusing vehicles belonging to the state during the hearing the magistrate said that evidence presented thus far against the two suspects proved to be correct and thereby rejected the bail application submitted and ordered that the suspects be further remanded Minister Dasari Jayasekara says that debating the COP report on the central bank bond issue in parliament is the reason in the delay in action being taken against those responsible for the matter. The minister expressed these views speaking at an event held to distribute dry rations to those affected by the drought in Pandwasnura recently. A huge controversy erupted in the country over the central bank bond scam. As members of COP, we have given a correct verdict. According to the recommendations provided, it is clearly said that punishment must be meted out to those found guilty of this crime. However, we cannot take future action without debating the matter in Parliament. This is the biggest problem we have. Therefore, future action can only be taken following the matter being debated in the House. This is what is causing the delay. අපිට ඊළඟ ක්‍රියා මාර්ග වලට යන්න තියෙන එක තමයි සිද්ධ වෙන පරක්කු වෙන එකක් නෙවෙයි Well as we all know the past few months saw many parts of the island being covered by a drought and many people across the island suffered ter- tremendously because of the drought however in a note of positivity many areas across the island are now experiencing heavy rain Ending the severe drought that existed over the past few months, the district of Putlam experienced heavy rains yesterday. A correspondent said that the rain would bring some relief to the people of Putlam who suffered due to the drought for the past six months. Meanwhile heavy rains fell on a number of areas in the Manan district. A correspondent said that a number of areas including Silavathura, Mirichikatti and Vilithukulam that were battered by the drought over the past few months received heavy rains yesterday. Moreover nearly 10 houses were inundated owing to rains that fell across Kamthale. Kamthale irrigation officers said that as to now the water level of the Kamthale tank is approximately 2500 cubic feet. A correspondent said that heavy rains continue to fall across the Kamthale area. In more local news, 25 people working in a garment factory were injured when the bus they were travelling in veered off the road and toppled in Galagidara Kandy this morning. 
While the injured have been admitted to the Galagadu Regional Hospital, 15 of those injured have been transferred to the Kandy General Hospital. According to the police, the accident had occurred when the bus veered off the road as the driver failed to control the vehicle, which was being driven at an excessive speed. Our correspondent noted that the bus had collided with the power line and the power supply in the area was disrupted as a result of this. Meanwhile, another 11 persons were injured in the Vihirayaya area in Vallavaya when a pickup truck collided with a van. According to police, the injured are currently receiving treatment at the Vallavaya based hospital and two are in a critical condition. Our correspondent noted that the injured were passengers travelling in the van. The injured are residents of Derniagala. Well, we wrap up this edition of Lunchtime News with footage we obtained of a motorcycle being ridden in a careless manner, being a danger to themselves and those around them. Well, that's a wrap. Join us again at 1.55 for more of the very latest. Take care and have a nice day.